Hey guys, the air conditioner here, because why not, and welcome to, I don't think that thing in the grass that I just saw run over there even sees me, but yeah, as you can see here, we are Squeak the Little Dryo, and oh no. Hi, how's it going? Wow, he blends it really, really well, jeez. Can't even see him, but yeah, we got Squeak the Dryo here, because you guys really, really wanted a... Uh, you know, some squeak adventures and all that stuff, so you know what? Let's do it, and I think it's a, a nice, like, opposite and- Oh, God! Oh, God! He's so angry! Ah, help me! Oh, God! <laughs> Mr. Rex, please! Be kind! Oh, God! Oh, this is where it ends! Hey, guys! How's it going? Oh, wait, I should probably rest. That should, uh... Oh, wow! Wait, do Dryos heal fast bleeding? I've actually never tested that before. Hmm, because we just healed two bleeding levels. Huh, I wonder. You know, we gotta ch check that out, but yeah, I think it's a nice uh, alternative to, uh, you know, basically being frostbite, going around and just absolutely killing anything and everything. So, yeah, now we'll be the thing that just befriends everything and everything. And probably end up getting killed along the way and... Oh god. Look, I'm surrounded by people who care. And by that, they're probably like, hey, I wanted to heal, so I guess. So it's actually a sporting chance. Oh, God. All right. So. Hmm. We got to plan our options. I mean, we, we physically can't heal any more than we have, like, the health we have now. Because we need food. And in order to do that, we're going to need to go over to one of the areas where there's some bushes. I'm thinking the closest one is up that way, the way I'm facing right now. But, I mean, this car knows that way. And all that. And, yeah. So, apparently, Dryos, they heal... I think about two bleeding levels when they're like running slash, you know, standing still and all that stuff. And then they heal about three when they're laying down. Cool. Alright, so we have one more level of bleeding. And pretty much once we get the bleeding good, then we'll drink some water. And then we'll immediately start the uh, long journey over there to pretty much attempt to uh, get some food of some kind. And who knows, maybe the, uh, the Rexes will accompany us or something. Because I, I feel I've just been adopted. Maybe. Or something like that. Hmm. I'm guessing the aloe here is like the weird uncle or something like that. The very weird uncle. No, but yeah, so. Alright, is our bleeding done? Because I'm getting impatient. Alright, come on. Hmm. I mean, I think we're okay to walk with level 1 bleeding because... Oh, oh, never mind. I was gonna say, like, we should be a-okay because we don't lose too much health. Alright, well, we'll just drink some water. There we go. Alright. There we go. And water it up. Alright, nice. Oh, God, we move so <laughs> slow. Oh, God. Alright, actually, you know what? I think what we should do is we should travel with the Rexes. And basically what we'll do is we'll, we will head actually down to the other side of the uh, spawn lake here. Because, you know, there's actual food there, and there's water, and apparently that's where, you know, the rest of them are going. But, yeah, we got our weird little family here, as creepy as that is. We got, uh, the two Rexes, the Aloe, and, yeah, I'm the little Dryo here. All nice and, uh, giant gashes and all that on me. But, I mean, then again, if you think about it, I think, like, Dryo's actually six feet tall, I think, or something like that. So, these are actually some pretty huge gashes. Oh, God. Alright, so instead of uh, boring everyone to death with uh, doing this, basically just being like surrounded by Rexes and eh, eh, just like slowly walking over to the other side of the lake, we're going to cut to the bit where we're already there, so I'll see you guys in a, a few seconds and all that. Okay, and here we are at the uh, other side of the spawn lake and we got to the trees. We did it, and it was a nice little, you know, little stroll over here. Nothing really bad happened and there you go. Pretty much just a kind of a boring little trick, I guess you could say. So, there you go. You guys missed absolutely nothing. But what we got over here is actually this quite a big herd of, like, a mixed variety of just kind of everything. We got, like, even carnivores in there and all that stuff. So, we're going to keep eating all these trees so we can get our health up. And there we go. All right, hopefully we get to uh, actually be able to run and then... We can technically fend for ourselves. Our little Rex family and our aloe friend is actually a... Uh, what's it called? They, they've stuck with me all the way through. And even actually, I think they fought off 
something. I don't really know, though, because I heard crunching on stuff, and... Hmm. wasn't really paying attention too much, but... Yeah, we got a huge herd over there, which I don't want to bring these guys near, because... I mean, there was a huge fight that went down a little bit, like... Like, about like a minute or two ago? Not really eventful too much, it's more of like... You know, you're generic, everyone, like, trying to kill each other thing, so... Alright, I'm gonna start resting right here. We should have enough thirst and hunger to get the maximum amount of healing when we actually do. So that should be good. Alright, there we go. We're at 92 health out of 125. I think we can actually, uh, what's it called? You know, run now. I don't really know, though. Alright, let's just get rid of all that line of text and all that. Alright, we got a Rex coming in. I think they're just kind of investigating over here because, you know, we're just kind of like the new guys to the area, so we're just gonna, just gonna keep an eye on him. Hmm. Making sure nothing bad happens. Alright, he's just kind of doing his thing, I think. Hopefully he's not trying to go behind us. That kind of scares me a little. And apparently they're saying a, a Hera's coming in, which, I mean, I was attacked by a Hera, which, you know, caused my whole, what's it called, like, bleeding and all that stuff, so we gotta be definitely careful of those guys, because I have no doubt in my mind that they'll you know, trying to kill us on spot like that other one. And, yep. Oh, so apparently it's a re reoccurring Hera, and they're just trying to kill it again. Alright, oh, and we're full health. Oh my goodness. We did it. We can run. Oh, oh my god, is that another Dryo? Hello. Alright, let's just eat a tree right there, and let's do a call out. Maybe that other Dryo might come over and say hello. Hmm, I'm trying to see if I should go to it, or should we just, like, have it come to us? Because I don't want to bring these guys too close, or else it'll, you know, s seem like we're attacking them, or whatever. Hello, little Dryo. I see you. I mean, we could technically scare off this alley. You know what? Let's do that. Dryo. Hello. Oh my goodness, little Dryo playing. I absolutely love their, like, jump animation of just, like, eh. They got, like, their legs all, like, curled up, like, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that really scares me when, like, you're right next to their mouth. It's like, they could kill you and not even care. It's horrible. But, yeah. Alright, I want to try to go get water, but I also really don't. Because I don't want my Rex family here to get killed or something like that. Hello. Hmm. Alright, there seems to be a lot of guys that... There's an underwater shant, I think. Okay, let's not really do, like, go near them, I guess, because they have all that area just kind of occupied, I guess you could say. But yeah, I think this is, like, the population of the whole server right here. I mean, I'm on the Atlanta one right now because, well, one, it's an awesome server, and two, there was, like, 48 out of 50, and that's, like, for me, the ideal, like, number to, you know, join a server because it's, like, well, one, you have a uh, high chance of actually getting in because, you know, there's two slots open for you, and there's a whole bunch of people, as you can see right here. And I love how we actually have herbivores, and... Alright, I was afraid it just crashes there, because everyone's just kind of standing still, but... Yeah, look, we have a nice little herbivore herd. Looks awesome. And not too, too many Rexes. I mean, not that I really care this time around, because I'm just a little dryo. I got a little Rex family in. Where'd the albino one go? Hmm. Where'd he go? I know he's not down there. Hmm. Actually, come to think of it, I think the, uh, the albino one might no longer be with us. Not that he died or... Oh, well, that's fun. Dang it, the server crashed. Ah, great. Well, I mean, regardless, the server crash didn't get rid of the albino guy. It more of a... I'm, I'm gonna assume the albino Rex, like, left before the uh, server crash, or maybe knew the server was gonna crash and just left to be safe. Huh. That's pretty smart if you think about it. Actually, wait, was I on the Atlanta one or the LA one? I don't know, but every time I've actually tried to get into the Misty Valley type servers, they always end up being, like, not even able to join. Even though it's, like, for example, there's, like, what's it called? Like, 20-something slots, like, open in that one right there? Hmm. 
All right, let's see. We got Seattle, and we could try that one. Let's just do a refresh real quick. See what we got here. Hmm. You know what? I'm thinking... Wait, no, LA... No, wait, that's Misty Valley. All right, we'll, we'll go uh, this one. All right. Let's see if it loads. Come on, you got this. All right, we got our three little black bar... Actually, not black bars. White bars of... Uh, white squares, if you will, of loading. All right, and respawn as soon as it all loads up there we go but yeah also some of you guys wanted me to do the other dryo skin i personally like this one a lot more because you know it's the original and also i mean one you know you have the uh, blend in ability i mean if you're brown like hiding in green that doesn't really help you out too much so yeah i mean look at this we got a an awesome spawn we're right next to a uh, spawn lake so we're just gonna sprint our way down over there and we'll pretty much uh you know see what's up and all that stuff. Okay, and here we are at the, uh, what's it called? Rexless Spawn Lake. Oh, oh god. Alright, we got an angry little Carno. Oh, he's very angry. Nope, gotta run around you. And let's go hide underneath the shit. Hello, save me, please. Nope, not today. Alright, come on, shit, help me. And help yourself as well, because he's gonna try to kill you. He's like not doing, he doesn't even care. You're a monster. Galley, save me. All right, there we go. Now he's like, oh, now, now we got a problem. You hit me, now I'm angry. Oh, Galley's going in. All right, oh, wow, Galley's just the hardcore aggressor right here. Jeez, checking behind me because I heard footsteps. Oh, there's a Hera though. That really scares me. Right, let's go into trot mode so we can keep up with them and not waste too much stamina. Alright, he seems to be friendly. Alright. Get out of here, you Carno! Alright, why'd I run up to him? Basically, what my goal is, is to show that he's aggressive and normally, uh, Rexes and all that like to, uh, like maybe help out a little bit. And, oh, I think he just got a hit right there. Oh my god! The truck just killed the, the, the galley! And the Carno! And he's trying to kill me! What is this lake? If it's not Rex's, it's all this other crazy shenanigans. Oh my god. I'm just gonna drink some water as they just do a massacre of... Oh my god. Trike v. Shant. Huh. I mean, personally, I think uh, if the Shant does like it correctly, it can easily win this fight. Never mind, I stand corrected. Alright. Oh god. We gotta run. Take refuge by the... Maybe the Rex or something like that. Oh god, it's the angriest little trike I've ever seen. Alright. Hello, Rex. I'm just gonna, you know, nuzzle in right here. I hope we're okay. Hmm. Yeah, those... Alright, so apparently those two are... Apparently friends or something that uh, cannot be trusted. They will... They'll cut you up. Alright, I wonder what the heck happened to this Rex right here. I don't see any body, so he didn't really... Never mind. I, 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 once again, st stood corrected. I found out what, I think, uh, actually messed him up. It's the Carnos. I think the Carnos are actually like the dominant ones on this. Because if you, if you think about it, like, I mean, yes, the, the Rexes can, you know, take out Carnos semi-easily, but if you have enough Carnos relentlessly attacking the Rexes, you can easily change the, uh, the dominant guys of the server from Rexes to Carnos, which is, it's pretty cool. I mean, granted, Rexes are like the one thing keeping me safe from these guys who can easily outrun me, but, yeah, I mean, actually, also, we, we actually generate about... 30 stamina. We regen it pretty fast. I mean, look at this. We get... Yeah, we get uh, 25 stamina, actually. Not 30, but you know what? It's pretty cool. I mean, look look how fast we're going up in the stamina department. Alright. Jeez. Most angry Carnos. I think, I think this, on this server, they are just sick and tired of the Rex Plague. Oh, oh, okay. He's an angry Carno. Alright. I'm guessing he might not have much friends in the real world. No, die! I don't know why I tried to attack him. All right, well, jeez. Just endless, endless carno carnage. Jesus, it's insane. All right, I'm thinking what we should do is we should go team up with this big guy that I hear over here. Maybe see if we can get a, a friend as tall as a mountain. All right, or maybe he can kill us so we can actually respawn. Actually, wait, no, I... Those guys tend to really just not really care about you unless you actually attack them, so... Hello? 
Unless he's gonna, like... Oh my god, his claw, or, like, toenail, I guess you could call it, is bigger than my entire head. Okay. Alright. Well, let's just eat some leafy greens. Oh, that was, uh, one of these guys. I completely forgot we actually have a local chat. Oh, let's join in! Yes! Crunch, oh my god. Alright, you know what? We saw the opportunity, and we took it. Alright, here's hoping we get a good spawn, and we literally spawned five feet away, I think. Ah, god dang it. Alright, anywho, I think right here's a good spot to end it for now. Next time, we'll maybe make our way back to uh, Spawn Lake and pretty much see how that goes and all that. I mean, or we could maybe have this be kind of like a one-off with like the Dryo, because, I mean, I can't really think of too much that we can do with this guy, because, you know, I mean, with the whole everything's gonna, you know, want to hunt us and we can't really do much about it except, you like, you know, stare him directly in the eye and just go, yeah, like, just pretty much do that. So, yeah, I mean, should we continue or should we do another dino or something like that? I mean, if we're doing another dino, I'm thinking maybe Amazon or something or, I don't know, something, I don't know, but yeah, let me know. So, yeah, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I will see you, there you go, next time. Need to walk with level one bleeding, because, oh, oh, never mind. I was gonna say, like, we should be A-OK, -okay because we don't lose too much health. Alright, well, we'll just drink some water. There we go. Alright. There we go. And water it up. Alright, nice. Oh, God, we moved so <laughs> slow. Oh, God. Alright, actually, you know what? I think what we should do is we should travel with the Rexes. And basically what we'll do is we'll, we will head actually down to the other side of the uh, spawn lake here because, you know, there's actual food there and there's water and apparently that's where, you know, the rest of them are going. But yeah, we got our weird little family here, as creepy as that is. We got uh, the two Rexes, the aloe, and yeah, I'm the little dryo here. All nice and uh, giant gashes and all that on me. But, I mean, then again, if you think about it, I think, like, Dryo's actually six feet tall, I think, or something like that, so... These are actually some pretty huge gashes. Oh, God. Alright. So, instead of, uh, boring everyone to death with, uh, doing this, basically just being, like, surrounded by Rexes and... Eh. Eh. Just, like, slowly walking over to the other side of the lake, we're gonna cut to the bit where we're already there, so I'll see you guys in a, a few seconds and all that. Okay, and here we are at the, uh other side of the spawn lake and we got to the trees we did it and it was a nice little you know, little stroll over here nothing really bad happened and there you go pretty much just a kind of a boring little trick I guess you could say so there you go you guys missed absolutely nothing but what we got over here is actually there's quite a big herd of like a mixed variety of just kind of everything we got like even carnivores in there and all that stuff so we're gonna keep eating all these trees so we can get our health up, and there we go. All right, hopefully we get to uh, actually be able to run, and then we can technically fend for ourselves. Our little Rex family and our aloe friend is actually a, uh, what's it called? They, they've stuck with me all the way through, and even actually, I think they fought off something. I don't really know, though, because I heard crunching on stuff, and hmm, wasn't really paying attention too much, but yeah, we got a huge herd over there, which I don't want to bring these guys near, because... I mean, there was a huge fight that went down a little bit, like, like about like a minute or two ago. Not really eventful too much, it's more of like, you know, your generic everyone like trying to kill each other thing, so. Alright, I'm gonna start resting right here. We should have enough thirst and hunger to get the maximum amount of healing when we actually do. So that should be- Okay, and here we are at the, uh, what's it called? Rexless Spawn Lake. Oh, oh god. Alright, we got an angry little Carno. Oh, he's very angry. Nope. Gonna run around you, and let's go hide underneath the shit. Hello, save me, please. Nope, not today. All right, come on, shit, help me, and help yourself as well, because he's gonna try to kill you. He's like not doing. He doesn't even care. You're a monster. Galley, save me. All right, there we go. Now he's like, oh, now, now we got a problem. You hit me now. I'm angry. Oh, Galley's going in. Alright, oh, wow, Galley's just the hardcore aggressor right here. Jeez. Checking behind me because I heard footsteps. Oh, there's a Hera, though. 
that really scares me. Right, let's go into trot mode so we can keep up with them and not waste too much stamina. Alright, he seems to be friendly. Alright. Get out of here, you carno! Alright, why'd I run up to him? Uh, basically, what my goal is is to show that he's aggressive and normally, uh, Rexes and all that like to, uh, like maybe help out a little bit. And, oh, I think he just got a hit right there. Oh my god! The trike just killed the, the, the galley! And the carno! And he's trying to kill me! What is this lake? If it's not Rexes, it's all this other crazy shenanigans. Oh my god! I'm just gonna drink some water as they just do a massacre of. Oh my god! Trike v. Shant. Huh. I mean, personally, I think uh, if the Shant does like it correctly, it can easily win this fight. Never mind, I stand corrected. Alright. Oh god, we gotta run. Take refuge by the. maybe the Rex or something like that. Oh god, it's the angriest little trike I've ever seen. Alright. Hello, Rex. I'm just gonna, you know, nuzzle in right here. And hope we're okay. Hmm. Yeah, those- alright, so apparently those two are apparently friends or something that, uh, cannot be trusted. They will- they'll cut you up. Alright, I wonder what the heck happened to this Rex right here. I don't see any body, so he didn't really- Never mind, I, 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 once again, st stood corrected. I found out what, I think, uh, actually messed him up. Oh, it's the Carnos. I think the Carnos are actually, like, the dominant ones on this. Because if you, if you think about it, like- I mean, yes, the Rexes can, you know, take out Carnos semi-easily, but if you have enough Carnos relentlessly attacking the Rexes, you can easily change the, uh, the dominant guys of the server. Hey guys, the air conditioner here, because why not, and welcome to, I don't think, that thing in the grass that I just saw run over there even sees me, but, yeah, as you can see here, we are Squeak the Little Dryo, and, oh no. Hi. How's it going? Wow, he blends it really, really well. Jeez. Can't even see him, but yeah, we got Squeak the Dry here because you guys really, really wanted a, uh, you know, some Squeak adventures and all that stuff. So you know what? Let's do it. And I think it's a a nice like opposite. And oh god, oh god, he's so angry. Ah, oh, help me. Oh god, <laughs> Mr. Rex, please be kind. Oh god, oh, this is where it ends. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh wait, I should probably rest. That should uh. Oh wow. Wait, do Dryos heal fast bleeding? I've actually never tested that before. Hmm, because we just healed two bleeding levels. Huh, I wonder. You know, we gotta ch check that out. But, yeah, I think it's a nice uh, alternative to, uh, you know, basically being frostbite, going around and just absolutely killing anything and everything. So, yeah, now we'll be the thing that just befriends everything and everything. And probably end up getting killed along the way and... Oh, God. Look, at, I'm surrounded by people who care. And by that, they're probably like, hey, I want him to heal, so I get a... So it's actually a sporting chance. Oh, God. All right. So. Hmm. We got to plan our options. I mean, we, we physically can't heal any more than we have, like, the health we have now. Because we need food. And in order to do that, we're going to need to go over to one of the areas where there's some bushes. I'm thinking the closest one is up that way, the way I'm facing right now. But, I mean, this car knows that way. And all that, and... Yeah, so apparently, Dryos, they heal, I think, about two bleeding levels when they're, like, running slash, you know, standing still and all that stuff. And then they heal about three when they're laying down. Cool. Alright, so we have one more level of bleeding. And... Pretty much, once we get the bleeding good, then we'll drink some water. And then we'll immediately start the, uh, long journey over there to... Pretty much attempt to, uh, get some food of some kind, and... Who knows, maybe the, uh, the Rexes will accompany us, or something, because I, I feel I've just been adopted. Maybe. Or something like that. Hmm. I'm guessing the aloe here is like the weird uncle, or something like that. The very weird uncle. No, but yeah, so. Alright, is our bleeding done? Because I'm getting impatient. Alright, come on. Hmm. I mean, I think we're okay. Okay, let's not really... Dude, like, go near them, I guess, because they have all that area just kind of occupied, I guess you could say. But yeah, I think this is, like, the population of the whole server right here. I mean, I'm on the Atlanta one right now because, well, one, it's an awesome server, and two, there was, like, 48 out of 50, and that's, like, for me, the ideal, like, number to, you know, join a server, because it's, like, well, one, you have a, uh, 
high chance of actually getting in, because, you know, there's two slots open for you, and there's a whole bunch of people, as you can see right here. And I love how we actually have herbivores, and... All right, I was afraid it just crashes there, because everyone's just kind of standing still, but... Yeah, look, we have a nice little herbivore herd. Looks awesome. And not too, too many Rexes. I mean, not that I really care this time around, because I'm just a little dryo. I got a little Rex family in. Where'd the albino one go? Hmm. Where'd he go? I know he's not down there. Hmm. I actually come to think of it, I think the, uh, the albino one might no longer be with us. Not that he died or... Oh, well, that's fun. Dang it, the server crashed. Ah, oh, great. Well, I mean, regardless, the certain crash didn't get rid of the albino guy. It more of a... I'm, I'm gonna assume the albino Rex, like, left before the uh, server crash, or maybe knew the server was gonna crash and just left to be safe. Huh. That's pretty smart if you think about it. Actually, wait, was I on the Atlanta one or the LA one? I don't know, but every time I've actually tried to get into the Misty Valley type servers... They always end up being, like, not even able to join, even though it's, like, for example, there's, like, what's it called, like, 20-something slots, like, open in that one right there? Hmm. Alright, let's see. We got Seattle, and we could try that one. Let's just do a refresh real quick, see what we got here. Hmm. You know what? I'm thinking, wait, no, LA, no, wait, that's Misty Valley. Alright, we'll, we'll go, uh, this one. Alright, let's see if it loads. Come on, you got this. All right, we got our three little black bar, actually not black bars, white bars of, uh, white squares, if you will, of loading. All right, and respawn as soon as it all loads up. There we go. But yeah, also, some of you guys wanted me to do the other Dryo skin. I personally like this one a lot more because, you know, it's the original. And also, I mean, one, you know, you have the uh, blend-in ability. I mean, if you're brown, like hiding in green, that doesn't really help you out too much. So, yeah, I mean, look at this. We got a, an awesome spawn. We're right next to uh, Spawn Lake. So we're just going to sprint our way down over there. And we'll pretty much, uh, you know, see what's up and all that stuff. Oh, good. All right, there we go. We're at 92 health out of 125. I think we can actually, uh, what's it called? You know, run now. I don't really know, though. All right, let's just get rid of all that line of text and all that. All right, we got a Rex coming in. I think they're just kind of investigating over here because, you know, we're just kind of like the new guys to the area, so we're just gonna just gonna keep an eye on him. Hmm. Making sure nothing bad happens. All right, he's just kind of doing his thing, I think. Hopefully, he's not trying to go behind us. That kind of scares me a little. And apparently, they're saying a, a Hera's coming in, which. I mean, I was attacked by a hero, which, you know, caused my whole, what's it called, like, bleeding and all that stuff, so we gotta be definitely careful of those guys, because I have no doubt in my mind that they'll, you know, try to kill us on spot like that other one. And, yep. Oh, so apparently it's a re reoccurring hero, and they're just trying to kill it again. Alright, oh, and we're full health. Oh my goodness. We did it. We can run. Oh, oh my god, is that another Dryo? Hello. Alright, let's just eat a tree right there, and let's do a call out. Maybe that other dryo might come over and say hello. Hmm. Trying to see if I should go to it, or should we just, like, have it come to us? Because I don't want to bring these guys too close, or else it'll, you know, s seem like we're attacking them, or whatever. Hello, little dryo. I see you. I mean, we could technically scare off this alley. You know what? Let's do that. Dryo. Hello. Oh my goodness, little Dryo playing. I absolutely love their, like, jump animation of just like, eh. They got, like, their legs all, like, curled up, like, yeah. Oh, it's amazing. That really scares me when, like, you're right next to their mouth. It's like, they could kill you and not even care. It's horrible. But, yeah. Alright, I want to try to go get water, but I also really don't. Because I don't want my Rex family here to get killed or something like that. Hello. Hmm. 
Alright, there seems to be a lot of guys down. There's an underwater shant, I think. 